Hello, and welcome to Take It Off Tuesday. Woo! My name's April, welcome to my YouTube channel, and welcome to Take It Off Tuesday. Take It Off Tuesday is a series where I review products related to skincare or removing makeup. The product that I am gonna be reviewing for you today is by Lush. It is Dog Angel Face and Body Cleanser. Our velvety black sugar, charcoal, and rasul mud cleanser exfoliates, absorbs excess oil, and brightens complexions. The nemesis of blocked pores. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. All right then, let's see what's in it. Rasul mud, cold pressed organic avocado oil, glycerin, powdered charcoal, black sugar, sandalwood oil, rosewood oil. Okay, some good stuff in here. Looking forward to trying that. How to use. In the palm of your hand, mix a pea-sized amount with a little water. Massage into your skin, then rinse off with warm water. Oh, that sounds super duper easy peasy. I'm just gonna my face. I did not wear makeup today. I just did my skincare. Believe it. All right, there we are. And mm -hmm. um, it is black, black as night, black as coal. All right, pea-sized. Well, this is gonna be a large pea, but that's what I'm going with. Yeah. You know, I think mine has dried up a little bit since I bought it because I don't remember it looking quite so dry when I bought it. Anytime I go to Lush, it's typically a city I have to fly to. Well, you know how that goes. You can't keep put this in your carry-on. You have to put it in your check bag. So I think from being in the belly of the plane and getting cold, I think that it changes the consistency of some of my products. At times, I believe they're they're different when I get them home than when I just purchased them a few days before. Okay, well, I added some water. You see it is very mud-ish looking. It's pretty thick though. I'm gonna keep working with that a little bit. It's not quite as thick as a paste now. Here it goes. I'm glad I'm wearing a black top. Wow, look at that. It's black, y'all, and it's back, y'all, and it's black and black, and it's black, y'all, and it's back, y'all. Remember that CB4? Look at that. This is gonna be one I will use in the shower. I can just imagine myself making a big old dang mess with this at the sink. Believe it, I'm good like that. Got the skills to pay the bills. Yep, yes I did, yes I did. But let's get that around my nose. On my chinny chin chin. Saturday night I did a cardinal sin. I left my makeup on, went to sleep. With my makeup on. Yeah, so guess what? Having some clogged pores. I just got all that mess taken care of. I did it to myself. You do it to yourself, you do. And that's what really hurts. You do it to yourself, just you. You and no one else. You do it to yourself. You do it to yourself. And I did. All right, well, it didn't say you needed to leave it on for any amount of time. So, I believe, just says massage into your skin, then rinse off. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to work on that, but I'm gonna hang out over the sink. I don't believe I'm gonna try to do that right here over my white countertop and white floor. Thank you very much. I wanna mention, I start washing it off, and the first thing I do, I get a little water in my hands, splashing on my face, start water and black stuff running down my arms, just like I knew it would. Yes, this will be used in the shower. To happen to me too when I use these black masks like this I get this outline of stuff that really is like nah we're good we're gonna stay here it's good you look good keep it yeah so anyway I'm gonna really have to get on with that but I wanted to mention the uh, mask does have um, it's like a roughness to it I guess it's that uh, little charcoal bit so you definitely can feel some exfoliating there for sure um, and even though my skin is, uh, tends to be on the dry side, nice stash, eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, even though my skin's on the dry side, I do always really like the charcoal masks. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna get back to it. All right, it's all clean. No more black outlines here. And I realized I called this a mask, but really it's a cleanser. But the way that it went on and everything reminded me of a mask. So anyway, but I guess, in the shower. Now I'll probably put it on my shoulders and stuff too because I think that'll be really nice. Um, 
I am really liking the way my skin feels super soft. You definitely can feel those oils. And I don't mean like my face is oily. I mean it really feels supple and soft. Like the bomb diggity, yo. Yeah, that feels nice. It really looks fresh. Let's see what their claims were. Exfoliates, yes. Absorbs excess oil, yes. Brighten, yeah. Yes, nemesis of clogged pores, yeah. That is feeling nice around here. Up in here, up in here. That's feeling good. Oh, I wanted to mention, I, I know that I have said it a couple of times about dryness around my mouth. So I had been using I'd been using my popcorn lip scrub and then using my Bite Agave lip mask. Well, I use that every night. And I went to the esthetician, had a facial, and she said that it was eczema. I've never had eczema. So that was a new experience. She said that it looked like it had gone from my lip and then just kind of was going around my mouth here. I thought it was from eating too much salt or who knows what. No, she told me, she said, get you some cortisone 10 and put on it. So my facial was after work. So I left there at like 6.30. As soon as I got home, I put some cortisone 10 on it, got up the next morning, it was gone. So that's what it was. I was having eczema around my mouth. <laughs> so anyway, anybody else, if you start having just some Flaky, dry skin here, like around your mouth. I don't get fever blisters, so I knew it wasn't that. And uh, yeah, eczema. So I just put a little cortisone tin on there. Boom, took care of that right away. So thank you very much, Kim. All right, well, yes, this is a definite hit. I love the way my skin looks. I love the way it feels. Lush, yes. Mwah. Okay, good job. Good going, I like it. Well, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for other beauty-related videos, and I will see your squeaky clean faces next time.